to learn about organisms. What are organisms? All living things are known as organisms. Plants, animals, microorganisms are considered as organisms. These organisms can be categorized as macro and microorganisms according to their body sizes. All living organisms can be categorized into another way. Based on their organizational levels of life, organisms can be categorized as unicellular and multicellular organisms. Let's see what are macro and microorganisms. Microorganisms which can be seen in our naked eye is known as macroorganisms. Soil Organisms such as ants, beetles, uh, millipedes, centipedes, these are considered as macroorganisms. Microorganisms are the unicellular or multicellular organisms which cannot be seen in our naked eye. These microorganisms only can be seen through microscopes. Bacteria, fungi, viruses, all these are microorganisms that can be only observed through the microscopes. Unicellular and multicellular organisms. What are unicellular and multicellular organisms? Body of an organism is made up of, of cells and tissues. A single cell which performs all the metabolic functions of an organism is known as unicellular organisms. It means a single cell performs all the function of the body. Two or more cells perform metabolic functions in a biological body is known as multicellular organisms. These kind of organisms have tissues, organs and systems in their body to perform functions. Here we go the uh, flowchart of the organisms that can be categorized based on their organization levels as unicellular and multicellular. Multicellular organisms may be a plant or an animal. Unicellular organisms also may be a plant or an animal. Here we go with the example. The multicellular plant, we can take any plant, any high level plants like mango tree, neem, hibiscus, hydra. Animals, horse, human, cat, dogs, whatever the animals, they are multicellular. And unicellular organisms under this category, for an example, plant chlamydomonas is the prominent example for a unicellular plant. As well, we can take amoeba, paramecium, these are the examples for animals, unicellular animals. Here we go with the diagrams. Unicellular plants or unicellular animals which has single body structure, which has a single cell to perform all the functions as respiration, uh, digestion, all these metabolic functions are occurred in single cell. But in a multicellular organism, there is a cell. Cells are collectively form a tissues. Tissues collectively form organs and organs collectively form a system. After formation of the system, the organisms form to perform the particular functions of a body. We learn about organisms and thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to further videos. Thank you.